Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Tabitha. If you're new to this channel, please welcome. And if you are, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Today we are going to talk about the statement of cash flow and why is it important for you and before you prepare your balance sheet. So the balance sheet may like you to transfer the cash balance into the current asset balance section. So you need to prepare that statement of cash flow and convert some of the accrual account into cash. So let's look at it. So we have statement of cash flow, what it is. So mostly it gives you, it explain year to year change in the cash balance. So you, you had like a balance sheet last time, it had a cash balance. But because you have done a lot of business activities this year, you have to update that cash balance on your balance sheet. So what you will do is like you see all the transactions that you have done and then see how did the cash, how much cash did you bring in, in and how much cash did, did, did that left the, the company account. So if you are just that one and then you can now have the new amount of cash, that amount that you can now put on the current asset section on the balance sheet. So it gives you that year to year change in the cash balance. And then next thing is shows cash inflow and cash outflow. Let's say last year uh, from the previous accounting cycle, you had 12,000 cash on your balance sheet section of current asset. But this year you decide to buy like inventory. So we mean there will be an adjustment on the amount of cash that was left on the thing. So that adjustment you need to fix it on the cash statement of the cash flow. So you have to record the inflow cash and the outflow cash. So this statement of cash flow organizes all the business activities in three sections. One is operating activities, all those activities that needed for the company to run. And we have uh, investing activities and we have financing activities. All those ones are what make up the cash flow. So here we have two methods that we use to convert this accrual account into cash. So we have indirect method converting total net total net income from accrual to cash. This is used by international companies, maybe because they they're all interested in just net income. And for this one is direct method. It convert individual revenues and expenses account from accrual to cash. So let's say you had um, you sold something and that was a revenue they got and then these expenses. So those ones need to be converted into cash before you prepare your balance sheet. So here we have a format for statement of cash flow. A format for statement of cash flow and we have the inflow, the outflow. The outflow has to be in the bracket, the amount that represents outflow. And then you get the net of the operating activities. Then the next thing will be investing activities. So you have the inflow and the outflow, and you get the net investing activities. Cash flow for financial activities, you get the inflow and the outflow, and you get the net cash provided by financing activities and then now you can check did your cash increase or decrease yes so before you do like did it increase or decrease and then you can take that balance amount back to your balance sheet for that season so this is the end of the video and we will do a live video next time and I will show you how you can tell which activities is actually bringing in the money and which one is taking out the money from your account, from the business account. And thank
Thank you. If you like this video, please subscribe and see you next time.